everybody. Can you hear the wave sound? Who said that this wave sound is like a pulse of life? In and out, in and out. Today, I'm going to make a really simple recipe. You guys love the shrimp? Oh, you don't like shrimp? But just, I know that you love to watch my video. Sit still, okay? <laughs> when I travel, I love to see, of course, beautiful scenery. But most important thing for me is delicious food. Today, I'm going to show you how to make 새우 소금 구이, shrimp cooked on salt. I'm using sea salt, very coarse sea salt. You can eat as a snack, also a you know, good side dish for you know, drinking. Drinking soju beer. I brought some soju. I'm going to make a soju cocktail, very simple. When I lived in Korea, everybody used to make that because soju is a, a little kind of strong. So after drinking, next day you may have a headache, but if you add some cucumber to soju, you are not going to have any hangover. So first, my one small cocktail. So first, let's cut into thin strips. This is my little shot glass today. I will just add my soju cocktail here. And just simply put it inside. So, this guy is done. Next, sauce. And instead of vinegar, I will use lemon this time. My squeezing, power of squeezing is very, very strong because just uh, trained for a long time. <laughs> About uh, three tablespoons lemon juice and one garlic clove. So lemon and garlic, then gochujang, hot pepper paste. About uh, two tablespoons. And then this is honey, around uh, just a little bit, one teaspoon. Sweet and sour and salty. So my mom says a pinch of salt to when you make a chogochujang, this will give a big difference. And mix. And then now, time to take care of my shrimp. I will just uh, quickly, I will wash my hands. I use large size shrimp, but you guys can use like a medium size. I will show you how I handle this. We need to remove the intestine. The shrimp intestine is a bag. So cut this. And from the center, push your kitchen scissors and cut. Exactly the center along the tail. You see? And then I'm going to use a whole, whole shrimp. Like that. Oh, look at this. So there's some intestine, right? So we can remove when I wash this. Okay. I'm going to use like a small pan and this small pan around eight shrimp will fit very nicely. But you guys use the large pan, you can add more shrimp. Depends on how many people are served. Right? I'm going to go into the kitchen and wash and cook. Each one just wash, open this on the back. And put it in the strainer. Now each shrimp is very clean and dry out with paper towel. Keep this in the refrigerator. What I do is just using cooking foil. And fold this like this. And put this in the pan. This pan is very strong and also thick. This is salt, sea salt. Sea salt around one cup. And cover and heat. 
over medium high heat, you can put it this and wait for five minutes until this salt is really hot. Then I'm going to add shrimp here. So now just five minutes after, you hear that the salt is ticking sound. And then the shrimp. And then I will cover this. Cook five minutes until this shrimp is all red color. You can see the shrimp color through the lid. Turn down the heat to medium. Nice gorgeous kind of orange color. And we gotta turn over like this. Oh my, look good. and cover and around two more minutes the sauce and I will add soju like that the shrimp is well done you can serve as it is. I like to go to the very close to nature and enjoy my Seu Sogum Gui. Let's go together. Today some storm comes, so you see the yellow tape? <laughs> and then now just this is the closest place that I can approach. Look at this, my table, nice table. Eh? <laughs> this my shrimp is still warm. See, when you eat this, you can see this head. This one is, you can eat also head. It's a shell, you can open easily. Because we did all this cut, so all shell is easily you can open. And let's dip this. Where is it going? Going into whose mouth? My mouth. Getting dark and dark. This is the first time filmed in this kind of weather. I feel so happy. Cheers, everybody. Today we made the seu sogumgui, the shrimp cooked on salt. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time.